Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with C6 Stitch, and today we're going to do a flip through of the Stony Creek Cross Stitch Magazine. This is the annual Christmas issue. It's from summer 2021. I usually order these just directly from Stony Creek online. This particular one, um, I was at Acorns and Threads, which is my local needle workshop, and I picked it up there at the checkout stand. I really love this magazine. Um, I find that there um, you can't subscribe to it but uh, you can you can buy them individually on their website or at your local needle workshop but the colors it's just a really well done magazine the colors are really beautiful the charts are easy to read and if you find a chart that you like to stitch you can go to their website the Stony Creek website and they have a section called I think it's like magazine charts or something like that and you can just one click and put everything that you need to stitch that chart in your cart. So they make it really easy and I like that. Um, okay, so let's get started. So the first one here, so this is the, it's the summer issue, but it is the annual um, uh, Christmas issue. So there's gonna be a lot of Christmas, but uh, the first one is called Patriotic Pals Christmas Ornaments. And there are three of them. Let's cover up the chart here. So that's what the three look like. So they're little, it's really cute. They're little Christmas ornaments, little Santa, reindeer, snowman, but they're also patriotic. So that's really cute. And they are pretty small. Let's see if it says 35 by 35 each. This one is so darling. This one is a, called Cupcakes Pillow. Um... And it says, life is better with cupcakes. So this is obviously not Christmas related, but I think that's just really cute. This would make be really cute for like a birthday stitch. So, you know, and you just bring it out when it's somebody's birthday. You could put, frame it if you didn't want to make it a pillow or make it a pillow. And I just think it's really darling. Or if you love cupcakes, it'd be great in your um, kitchen as well. Okay, this next one is called... Happy Halloween Silhouettes. Sometimes I struggle here. And this is what they look like. I think they're super cute. You could do it all in one like they have here, or you could do them separately. Make little ornaments out of them. If you have an ornament tree, just stitch one if you like one better than the others. I think it's really darling. I might have to add it to my list. I really like this next one as well. I, I think I'm gonna put this on my list, mark mark this one to stitch. This is called Woodland Peace. And it's just a very, just beautiful, um, simple um, stitch. And it's just so calming to look at, I think. And I love their colors that they use as well. So they have some treasures that, or buttons that they use. Um, there's some DMC, uh, they use uh, Creek Colors um, is one of the, it's a hand dyed floss that they use. And I hadn't heard of it before Sony Creek, so I don't know if it's, uh, maybe maybe somebody can tell me. Um, I don't know if it's uh, something just for Stony Creek um, that they developed or if it's something that you can find everywhere, but it's called Creek Colors. Um, and then there's Stony Creek buttons as well. Some of these have a, um, a lot of times what they'll also use, let's see if I can find, is something called Glisten Gloss, and it's basically a, a blending thread as well. Not on this particular chart, but sometimes. Okay, so this next one is called Patriotic Towels. So it says, God bless you in America too, sweet land of liberty, welcome. And again, you don't necessarily have to do these on towels. You could just do it on a piece of cloth. You could make them into little pillows if you wanted, however you wanted. So, very cute. Oops, get it all turned around here. Okay, this next one is called Eat Sleep Beach. That's super cute. Look at that. You got your surfboard, you got your palm trees, your sunshine, and your wagon. What else? And your seagulls. What else do you need? So I think that's really cute. Okay, so this next one. What I do like about, especially their, um, 
Stony Creek's Christmas is they do a really good job of including a few charts for people who live in climates that maybe it doesn't snow over Christmas. And so here's one of them. Um, I remember last year they had a few as well. This is called Santa's Trailer. Um, and you can see it says Peace on Earth. It's clearly a Christmas design, but he's on the beach, which I think is really great just to be, you know, inclusive of other places people live. Um, this one has some buttons. It has some Mill Hill beads, the glisten gloss, a bunch of DMC. There's also Anchor. I think the called for is actually Anchor, but there's a DMC conversion. So that's super cute if you live in a warm climate. This next one is Halloween towels. And I think they're really cute. Boo and Eek. Again, you can stitch these on anything. You don't have to be on towels. I would be scared to use them as towels. These would be towels you don't actually use that you just used to look at after doing all that stitching. Uh, one of the towels is 129 stitches wide by 36 high. The other one is 136 stitches wide by 36 high. Okay, this next one is... Okay, I'm going to show you the cover because it's this, this stocking. The picture inside is quite small, so I think you can actually see it better here. So this is Santa coming down on his train, um, and it's a stocking. It's a very cute, very beautiful, kind of one of those heirloom pieces. There are mohel beads in it and some buttons. Very cute, though. It's called Santa Express Stocking. It's 140 stitches wide by 203 stitches high. And they stitch their model on 28 count white Lugana, two over two. All right, this next one is called Caroline Snowman. So if you love snowmen, I think this is really, really darling. If you like snowmen, um, I, lo I love this little street lamp here. It's very cute. They're singing their Christmas songs to you. That one is 138 wide by 127 high. So it's it's not small. Okay, and then they are doing a series. They have a couple series that they're doing. This is the Four Seasons Birdhouse mini series. So each, uh, this magazine comes out once a quarter, so four times a year. And so they release one section each uh, magazine issue. And this month's is the Autumn House. So that's what it looks like. Um, it's cute on its own, too, if you didn't want to stitch them all or can't find them all now. I think this is just really cute on its own. Here's another look. So this is spring, this is the summer, autumn, and then I assume, maybe you can see better here, the winter one, which I assume will come out in the next, the next issue. This next chart is called Proud American. And it's just that scene with the barn with the flag and the star and this is a button here a little chicken button this is a bigger one too i think stitch count is 139 wide by 108 high um but i mean this area is pretty much i mean it's not full coverage in terms of up here but all of this is pretty much stitched this these tracks are not stitched but other than that it's kind of full coverage so Okay, this next one is called Love One Another, and I'm gonna put this on my list to stitch. I think it's just sweet and darling and just, I just love it. I just love it so much. It's just very, um, a lot of their, their charts are just very like woodsy and natural, and I like that. Um, this one is 133 wide by 95. All right, this is another uh, series that they're doing of Ecclesiastes 3.1. Um, so it's the, to everything there is a season. It's the whole thing. They are releasing a quarter of it basically in each issue. So this issue, yeah, so it's this section right here. And this is the third section out of four. So look at those beautiful flowers and such. So 
um, this one, does it say what the full, yeah, in four installments, it's published in four installments. Um, I'm looking for the stitch count of the whole thing. The whole design is 122 wide by 710 stitches high. Um, so if you were to stitch it on 16 count Ada, it would be uh, seven and three fourths inches wide by 44 and a half inches high. 14 count Ada would be 50 and three quarter inches high. Next, we have another beach scene, flip flops. It's a good day for flip flops. So again, if you live in um, a beachy area or if you just love the beach and decorate with beachy area, um, Candy, I'm looking at you. Um, there's some little buttons here. Those are all buttons. Very cute. And that one is 102 wide by 91 high. All right, this next one is called I Will Give You Rest. And it's a Bible verse, uh, Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. Come to me, all who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And it's this really sweet, um, like, garden scene. Very sweet. Very beautiful. And it has some buttons in there as well. Uh, this one is 63 wide by 91 high. And I think that is... It. Make sure there's none, no last ones. Yep. So that's everything. So Stony Creek Cross Stitch. This is the annual Christmas issue. I really do love this magazine. I think it's well worth the money. It's, um, you know, all the charts are in color and it's just a well done magazine. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions or if you um, want to uh, pick this up or what uh, charts that you'll stitch. I'll see you next time. Bye.